Hi guys, thanks for joining me in my studio today. It's the first thing in the morning um, and I want to do a speed paint. I did one a while ago uh, and I, when I say speed paint, I did a painting that took me 20 minutes to do and I found uh, I got a lot of value out of that. It freed me up from uh, all the thought processes that bog you down when you're painting. So I thought I'd do another one. This time I'm going to do it in 15 minutes though because um, I felt 20 minutes, uh, uh, although I was really pressured at the beginning, uh, by the time I was halfway through, I thought, oh yeah, this is easy, I've got loads of time. So I'm going to see if I can do one in uh, 15 minutes. This is the photo I'm going to use. I've got no idea if I'm going to achieve this. So let's just, let's just get straight into the painting. So this is my second speed painting. The last time I gave myself 20 minutes, this time I'm going to do it in 15 minutes. I've got the brush I want selected and I'm ready to go. So let's just start this timer, shall we? Here we go, go. Right, 15 minutes, uh, color, color, color. I'm doing this because, um, Last time I had to go at this, I felt that it really did liberate, I found it very liberating to uh, do something with a time limit on it and not uh, have time to think about the, the finer details and um, worry, uh, worry too much about finishing that painting. I tend to fiddle quite a bit. And this just sort of totally stopped me doing that. So that's why I'm doing it. I've, like I say, I've reduced the time. I've got 15 minutes for this one. Can I do it? I've got no idea. I'm picking fairly simple subjects to start with. You probably have noticed that. I'm not sort of going uh, crazy. This is one that my um, daughter took this photo and uh, uh, when she was visiting Australia, touring Australia. So uh, I thought it would be a nice, simple subject. And then my plan is to choose harder subjects. The more of these I do, I like that kind of moody look. I thought I'm, I'm, I'm kind of going with this the plan that I've got for this painting is that I'm going to um, put in a sort of a moody, misty background and then paint some trees into that. That's the plan. And it, uh, hopefully, I don't know if I'm going to put the rock in or not. Might leave the rock out actually. So I'm using palette knives and paintbrushes. Sort of distant trees that you, you're going to see through the branches of other trees. How am I doing for time? 12 and a half minutes left. So I think I'm okay at this point. I, I'm quite happy let's get some greens in let's get these sort of uh, distant moody trees in I want a bit more grey than that actually there we go So I've kind of got in, in my mind's eye what, what this painting is going to look like. So that that sort of helps. I'm not sort of struggling it, uh, with that too much. Put some blue in here. It's not like I need to think, um, what are we going to do with it? Let's put some on this side as well. Just need to move my source photo slightly 
I think I, I need to put this rock in really, it'd be cheating. So, some yellows. I don't feel anything like as pressured as pressured as I did the last time I did this. Last time I was really sort of freaking out. I'm using the odd out smudge to blend these colours in. If you, well, I, I recommend everybody have a go at this because this is really good. And if you don't know about it, um, we have a um, Facebook group called Digital Easel. If you want to get along to there, have a go at your 15 minute challenge and, and post your pictures up. That would be great to see uh, what everybody else is doing. I kind of set that group up a while a while ago and then uh, I've not really promoted it too much and I should really because there's some really nice people on there posting lots of pictures uh, paintings that they've done and uh, yeah it would be good to see you there if you haven't um, joined already and have I got the, the challenge that would be really cool too so then we've got this so foreground. I'm, I'm doing for time eight minutes. Oh my God. Now I'm panicking. I need to speed this up a bit. I got lost in the moment of the painting. I was enjoying the painting too much. Eight minutes. <sighs> ah! I was using blenders when I thought I was using paintbrushes. Right. Get this rock in. Bit on the green side, that. That's the size of the brush a bit smaller. I'm just wondering if I've uh, bit enough too much. Six minutes left. Oh, man. Six minutes. Six minutes. Don't panic, Steve. Don't panic.
we go. Let's. Uh... Let's get with some thick paint. Um... Even had time to change my brush size up. Um, I'm really panicking now. I'm really panicking. Four minutes left. Oh. Pressure, man. Pressure. I think I've got to, at this point, I'm thinking that I need to do something that sort of is, looks complete, even if it isn't. So I'm very quickly just trying to get to, I thought this was going to be a really easy subject. I thought I'm, I'm giving myself a really easy task here, cheating almost. But you know what? I'm not. This is scarily hard. Is that a word? Scarily? Looking at the time. Three minutes left. How am I going to do it? Tie these trees into the ground a bit. Certainly got a freeness that I would not have had otherwise. Two minutes left. I am going to use every minute, I think, for this one. Some big strokes on here. Oh, the knife. Soften some of the edges off. Right, I just want to make the brush really small. Get a dark blue. Time, 1 minute 18. That's cool. How big's my brush? Dark colour and create a new layer. I oh, see not. I 
Oh, I'm using the wrong brush. Oh my god. Go back to this layer then. See what I was. Yeah, that's it. That's what I was. That's what I was after. Thirty-seven seconds. Oh, sign it. Twenty-five seconds. I'm calling that done. Let's stop the clock. <gasps> Woo! 15 seconds to go. I can see I could paint another half hour on that, to be honest. But I think I've achieved it. I think I've um, produced a finished painting. Um, if you want to have a go at this, that would be great. And get, them, get your paintings posted in uh, digital easel on facebook i'll put a link in the description below if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing i've got lots of videos like this and don't forget a thumbs up as always much appreciated and hopefully i'll see you all in the next one bye <laughs>